Hi there, beloved viewer, and welcome. In our assistive tech today, we explore the usage of on-screen Braille input while you're using iPhone, okay? There are several people who struggle with the um, option of typing on QWERTY uh, keyboard, especially on the screen, but then the Braille keyboard have you covered. So how to customize? So we get to settings. Dock, phone. Messages, settings, one new item. Settings. Under settings, we uh, scroll until you get to accessibility. Focus, screen time, button, general, button, screen, focus, control set, display, home screen, accessibility, button, hearing, heading. Here we choose on voiceover. Settings, back button, accessibility, vision, heading, voiceover, on button. Then we swipe till we get to braille. The learn, voiceover, speak, speak, speech, braille, button. We activate. Output, contracted, button. Now here we have different options, but even before you consider them, the first thing to activate is show on screen keyboard. So we swipe. Bra Braille table, status cells, equations, use name, show on screen keyboard. On. So this needs to be on to make sure that the on screen keyboard is visible as one of your options. Then you can now set the other options. We wrap up. Voiceover, back button. Braille, heading. Output, contracted, button. Output is contracted, depending on your preference. If you want to change, you could double tap. Input, contracted, button. Input is contracted. If you want to change, you could double tap. Uncontracted six dot braille. Choose uncontracted six dot braille. Uncontracted eight dot braille. Uncontracted eight dot braille. Selected, contracted braille. And my preferred um, contracted, uh, contracted braille. Now the eight dot, which is what I believe may be a bit new to some of us, uh, refers to the computer braille keyboard so this may not be very common while you're using on screen keyboard but then it is usable especially when you're using um, braille displays like uh, the refreshable braille displays like obit readers and braille not touch however for now we are already set for using our braille keyboard so we get back braille back button braille back voiceover back button voiceover accessibility back button accessibility settings back button Settings, back. Settings, heading. Now you need to identify when you're typing just any edit field. For example, I could use the edit field here on settings. Search, search field. Now I activate. Search field, search field is editing. Search, character mode, insertion point at start. And by default, it will display the keyboard, the quality keyboard. But because um, we, um, oh, okay. One thing that we forgot setting. Oh, good, good. We get back so that we um, get back to accessibility. Dictate, cancel, button. Access, screen time, button. Focus, sound, notifications, button. Sounds, note, per, cellular, Bluetooth, on, button. Display and bright, home, accessibility, button. Vision, heading. Then choose voiceover. Zoom, off, display and text, settings, back, access, vision, heading, voiceover, on, button. Then on rotor. Braille, voiceover recognition, for bot, audio, commands, bot, activities, rotor, button. Selected, characters. Here, you will hear selected to the item that um, is appearing on my rotor. For those who may have forgotten rotor, is the options we get when we are trying to, uh, you know, turn our fingers on the screen as if we are turning a knob, okay? The one that allows you to change the different navigation options, right? So I navigate to... The option of get to here braille. Selected words. We selected lines. We selected text. We selected speaking rate. We volume. We audio docking. We punctuation. We sounds. We pins. We braille table. We braille auto advanced speed. We activities. We selected braille screen input. Braille screen input need to be selected to make sure that you can get the option of activating the keyboard whenever you are in need of it. So now we are set. It's selected on my end. Selected braille screen input. Good. So we can go back, get back now. Voiceover, back button. Voiceover. Accessibility, back button. Accessibility. Voice settings, back button. Settings, back accessibility, button. Settings, heading. And now we may uh, just need to find any edit field so that we try out if it is working. S dictate, search, search field. Search field, search field is editing. Search, character mode, insertion point at start. Like I said, by default, it shows the, um, the QWERTY keyboard. But with me, I want to use the, uh, the Braille uh, keyboard. So it's already on the rotor. I interact with the rotor. 
Work. Text selection. Speaking rate. Frail table. Frail screen input. Landscape. Screen away mode. Contracted. So it tells me several things. One, um, landscape. It also tells me whether it is on which mode, whether it is screen mode, I mean screen away mode or, or table mode. Now, table mode refers to you positioning your phone on the table, but vertically, such that the earpiece is to your right and the charging port is to the left. Now, with this set, uh, this um, position, you'll be able to just position your fingers as if you were typing on a um, braille machine. And you'll have your finger, your left hand finger on dot one. A. Two. Yay. Three. Apostrophe. Which is also apostrophe. Then uh, your right hand would have dots four. Dot four. Dot five. Dot six. Now, and now here we can just type. Space A. Dot six. Tap I. Space A M. Space A A T T Y. Space T O. Space D E M O N. Str R A T E. Space A L. Space T O. Space U F E. Space A. Space B R L. Space Braille K E Y. B O A R. D. Space O N. Space on. I. Dot six. Tap P H. Dot O. Period. Space iPhone. Good. Now this is table mode. Now we may also use a different mode which is referred to as screen away mode. Here you hold the phone in a manner that landscape screen away mode. The screen is away from you in a landscape manner. Mm -hmm. So in this case you will be having your left hand finger still on dot one A two, A three, Apple and the right hand fingers on dot four dot five. Dot six. And you can still type now. Space A. Dot six. T eight. Dot four. Dot four. Space this. I S space A space A A W E dot five S space E X T E H dots one two R I E N C space experience space E space every space Y R E V E C E space C. O space U F E space U A space B R L space Braille E Y B O A R D space keep O N space space C R E E N period space screen. Yes, so Table you're able mode. to type, and after all screen that is mode. done, now you may be able to, uh, you know, switch back. Remember your rotor. Your rotor is your friend. The rotor is your friend. You just uh, uh, swipe on the rotor. You know, you you turn. You behave as if you're switching to a new item on the rotor. Portrait. It tells you portrait, and now you're able to interact with other things. Now I must say that we use. Um, we swipe with one finger to delete, swipe to the left with one finger to delete, or to the right to get to new space or to add a space. And then you could use other things which we may be able to discuss on another episode. So for now, that is how to set up your Braille input keyboard on iPhone. Screen recording in progress, 2338.